you are watching the Sub 4 RA channel, and this is the Diecast Demolition Federation. Welcome everyone to the Sub 4 RA channel. I am your host Rhino, and today we have day two of the DDF tournament to determine our inaugural champion. Day one was filled with a lot of hard hitting and some high flying action. Let's see if day two produces the same thing. The fans are ready, anxious to see what happens today in day two. But before we can do that, we gotta get to some rules. Yeah, you guys just love the rules on this channel, don't you? Yeah, salt. All right, let's take a look at a few of the rules. First car on roof, side, or unable to continue determined by us is out of the tournament. You can also be eliminated if the other car beats you to the ramp before you get to the big end. That's called being raced out. It's almost kind of getting like a knockout in boxing. And after four rounds with no winner, the match ends in a draw. Now we had two draws at the end of day one. They're not out of it, but right now they're not in it. We're trying to field 16 cars to get the bracket even. So we'll see what happens with these cars here. See if those cars that got a draw in day one will get another shot. All right, before we head down for our first matchup of the day, we'd like to thank our sponsors for this inaugural tournament. Pole Boy Racing, Mark D from Cut Rock Creek Racing, and Narrow 62 Custom Diecast. And with that, we have our first matchup of the day ready to go. On your left hand side in the 1992 Mustang, we have Calypso for ZKV Motorsports. And on the right hand side, it's Sweet 16 from Dirty Deeb. All right, should be interesting. The Mustang with the plastic base, but still pretty heavy. And the Sweet 16, metal, metal, very heavy car. Oh, they both. Yes, Sweet 16 is over as well. They both go over. What a shot by Sweet 16, but it flips him over on his roof. And look at the 92 Mustang. I guess trees really do make sounds when they fall in the woods. Look at that. Oh, timber! Get out of the way. Both out of the event, just like that. All right, just like that, we have match up number two ready to go on your left-hand side. We have the Enforcer, driven by Warrior One from CNC Racing. And on your right hand side, it's Wild Thing. You make my heart sing. You wreck everything from Nero 62. Very interesting matchup Enforcer with the treaded tires and Wild Thing with the extremely skinny tires. Let's see what happens here. Slow out of the gate. Wild Thing able to pick up the win on the first round. Take a look at this. That might be a tough card to defend here. Look at this. To get any offense on. Nice little back body drop, if you will, or even if you won't. Look at that. Up in the air. Able to tip him. Get enough momentum. Off the track goes the Enforcer. And just like that, Warrior 1 out of the event. All right, we are two matches into it, two rounds and done. Going quick so far, we got matchup three ready to go in the 2010 Pro Stock Camaro. He's back at it, Nero 62. And on the right hand side in the Matchbox Flatbed King, it's Jukebox Racing. Well, these matchups are going so quick, we haven't even had the ring girl be able to get down there. But here we go, matchup three. Pro Stock Camaro, we'll see how it does. Never been quite that fast of a casting. Whoa, look at that, raced out by the Flatbed King. The Camaro doesn't even make it down. Ah, oh, that's gotta be disappointing for Nero 62 out of it in the Camaro, but we'll still be moving on in the wild thing. All right, matchup four, and this looks like a your classic demolition derby matchup here. On your left-hand side in the 1970 Chevelle SS Wagon, it's Mike from Key West Racing. And on the right side, in the Cruise Bruiser, it's Todd McDonald. And three matches in and only three rounds into it. This is going quick. Your typical classic looking demo derby here. 
Let's see what the humanoids think. Here they come. Oh, McDonald goes over. But did he race out the Chevelle wagon? We're going to have to go back to the inevitable replay on this one. I think he did it. Yes, he gets to the ramp. Look at that. Oh, another timber. Another timber shot. But McDonald will move on. Look at this. Gets. Oh, man. Gets his bell rung. Big time by the wagon by Mike from Key West Racing. But gets the race out. So speed still a factor here. McDonald will move on. Mike out in the wagon. All right, something and real important for you humanoids to get in your head here. You have to have a little bit of speed to compete here still in the DDF. All right, humanoids, we are moving on now. Race five on the left-hand side, it is the Road Bandit from Juice Box Racing. And on the left-hand side in the 68 Nova, it's Jack, John, and Katie Racing. And so far the action, in case you haven't been paying attention, has been fast and furious. Here we go, Juice Box Three, Racing. One, Jack, John, and Katie Racing. Who's it gonna be? Oh, the Nova! Gets a slobber knocker there, but look, he got, I think he raced out the Road Bandit or whatever the heck that thing is called. Take a look here. Yes, another race out. Despite getting the snot knocked out of him. The Nova, look at that. Jack, John, and Katie Racing going to advance as they got to the ramp before the Road Bandit got to the big end. Out of the event. Road Bandit, 68 Nova, moving on. All right, this should be a good matchup here. This is going to pit power versus speed. In the 51 Kool-Aid NASCAR car, the big man, this is Mike from Key West Racing versus Speed Trap. Driven by Chieftain Katniss from CNC Racing. I've been interested in seeing what happens at this one right here. Is it going to be power? Is it going to be speed? Let's take a look here. Here they go. Oh, oh, oh crap! Oh! Somebody got their ass handed to him right there. The big man, driven by Mike from Key West Racing, takes Speed Trap. And he knocks him past COVID. No doubt about it. Look at this. Oh, man. He's gone out of the park. Grand Salami. Wow. Yeah. Power won that one. Look at this. Almost gets a race out. And then look at this. Yeah. Uh, go back where you came from. Kick some rocks, homie. Out of the event. <laughs> go speed trap. All right, Mike from Key West Racing driving that Kool-Aid number 51 NASCAR might be the favorite now with that. All right, we will be right back after these important messages. I don't know if they're that important. They're basically made up crap, so uh, you decide. Time to skip the rope. Time to skip the rope. <laughs> It's all about skipping the rope, and I ain't playing. If you've always wanted to learn how to skip rope, you need to call Triple S. That's Suzy's Skipping School. You need to call now 1 877 Skip to My Lou. Once you call Suzy and set up your appointment, you too can play the game. Suzy, along with her husband, Hans Dinkelocker, We'll give you all the inside tips you need to know on how to skip rope. Call Triple S today. How much does that place charge, man? It sounds like a damn ripoff. Skip to my loot, my darling. What a bunch of sh uh, malarkey. All right, we're moving right along here. We have on your left hand side the Robo Race Robo Car, driven by Alex Murphy from ZKV. Motorsports. This is Robocop. And on the right hand side, the 2017 Camaro ZL1, driven by Brian Kennedy from Show Me State Scale Auto Racing. All right, should be an interesting matchup here. Camaro might be a little bit faster. The Robo Racer, whatever this goofy thing is, might have the advantage with the stance. Let's see. They both go over. 
Whoa! The Camaro is out for sure. What happened with the Robo Racer? Goes off the track. And yes, you can see the rivets. He is out of it as well. Down with all this other garbage that's down there. Look at this. Oh man, what a flip. And. <laughs> me, me. Gone. Just like that. Look at this from the 7 cam. Look at that. I uh, can't quite hold on. It's like somebody on ice skates who doesn't know what they're doing. Out of the event, they both go a double knockout on this one. Wow, that's crazy. Every match has ended after round one today. Let's see if this will be any different. This one is another metal metal car here. This 84 Ford Mustang SVO driven by Jason Chapman. Sent in by James Clayman, going up against on the right hand side, Diesel Duty, driven by E.B. Wick from C&C Racing. All right, to be perfectly honest with you here, I don't think Diesel Duty stands a chance against this metal on metal Mustang. But hey, what do I know? We're gonna run them down the track anyways. Time to demolish each other. Oh, there they go, Diesel Duty gets shoved back into the other cars in the garage area. Off Nero 62's Moon Eyes Pro Stock Camaro. But look at this. He's, I think he's still going to be able to drive this off and keep on competing, which I don't know if he even wants to do that. Look at that. Oh, man. Like there are a bunch of dominoes over on the side. Look at this. Oh, man. That's going to leave a mark and going to require definitely a chiropractic visit, no doubt about it. All right, Diesel Duty able to drive this off is going to compete again for round two. Wow, amazing it is. Taken us this long to get to a round two, but it's only a Three, formality here. Two, this this thing's one, over with. Go. No doubt about it right here. Let's take a look. Oh, whoa, the Mustang. Mustang almost goes over. I think he's going to be able to drive that off, but Diesel Duty for sure. Knocked into next week. Come back where you came from. Look at that. About dead even. Oh man, so the Mustang has some, has some speed behind it. Look at this, oh, that was dead even as it gets right there. The Mustang, I, I think he felt that one too, I'm pretty sure. Jason Chapman felt it, but you love cheese and he's moving on. Whereas, E.B. Wick is going to the back. All right, matchup nine has another celebrity on the left-hand side in the 2008. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. It's Terry Hill. And on his right hand side, Metal Metal. And it's a fast casting. It's Diesel Boy driven by Lil Bit from Dirty Deeb Racing. You know, whoever wins this, I don't think they're going to get their own ice cream bar, but I could definitely go for an ice cream bar right now. It is hot in here. Here we go. Terry Hill, the legend. Oh, he goes over, and so does Little Bit. Wow, they both go over with the Evo, driven by Terry Hill, going back up the track. Look at this. Oh, man. Gets him sideways, and then he Little Bit just tips over. That's unfortunate. I think Diesel Boy could have done some damage here in this tournament, but both now are out of it. All right, our 10th and final matchup of the day. On the left-hand side in the Roger Dodger 2.0, this is Armando from Who's House Racing. And on the right-hand side in the F1 racer, it is Juice Box Racing. All right, so far day two, everything has been one and done except for that Mustang versus Diesel Duty. Let's see how this one goes. This one might be a little bit more well-balanced matchup. Take a look. Oh, man, they hit hard. Neither one of them really budge. We're going to swap sides on to round two now. I really don't know who to favor in this one. This is pretty evenly matched up. Oh, looks like Roger Dodger has caught some speed now. Got a little bit closer there, but still... Both of them still in it. All right, round three. Humanoids behind me need to shut up. I'm getting tired of hearing them. Here we go. 
Raj Dodge 2.0. Oh, they were pretty close to the middle that time. That's the most even we've seen this matched up. That being said, we are now on to the fourth and final round. Let's see what happens here. Somebody going to budge here? Oh, did Armando, did Armando beat him to the ramp for a race out? Look like it, cameraman. Pretty sketchy work there, Holmes. Let's take a look. Yes, it looked like Armando did beat him. We're going to have to go to the seven cam. Not to be confused with six from formerly of X-Pac. Take a look here. Yes, Armando beats him. Gets to the ramp before the F1 racer by Juicebox Racing gets to the big end. So Armando is going to move on. Proof right there in case you guys had any doubts from yours truly in the call in this event. All right, for all you humanoids at home, if you need a pad, a pen, big imagination, go get it. Write this down right now. 14 cars advanced. That Chevelle up there, I don't know what he's doing there. The cruise bruiser from Todd McDonald is supposed to be there. Anyways, these four cars right here all raced each other in those two pairs. They were draws. So we're going to put all four cars on the track, kind of like a tag team, which you're going to see going forward. Whichever two cars survive will go on to make 16 and even tournament. We'll go down to the Sweet 16. Comprende? All right, let's do it. All right, on the left-hand side, they went up against each other in day one. It is the 2005 Corvette C6R from Zephyr Starlight from CNC Racing and the 71 Dodge Charger RT Hemi from Kyle Miller. They will be going up on the right-hand side. The 07 Chevy Tahoe from Hunter Jackson from CNC Racing. So we're going to have two CNCs going at each other. And the Sheriff Patrol car from James Clayman. Hey, that was pretty sneaky. The CNC Racing Crew switched lanes on us. Look at that. So Clayman and the 05 Corvette C6R goes against each other. And then Kyle Miller and the Tahoe go against each other. Neither one budge. Pretty sneaky from CNC Racing. We're going to have to keep an eye on them. Maybe an extra referee down there. I don't know. Take a look at this. Look at the Tahoe get sent back by Kyle Miller. And then it's going to come back. The Chevy Tahoe by Hunter Jackson from CNC Racing, that is, going to come back right in the grill, literally, of Kyle Miller saying, hey, we're not done yet. All right, round two. We're going to switch these lanes up this time so CNC Racing has no choice. Should have no choice but to go up against each other this time. They do, and they both get knocked over. Maybe that's what they're afraid of. They both eliminate each other. So both CNC racing cars out of it. James Clayman in the Sheriff Patrol. And Kyle Miller in the 71 Charger. The second rubber tire car to advance. They're both in the tournament. And the two CNC racing cars out of it just like that. Woo -wee. Take a look at it from the 7 cam. Oh, man, that was brutal for the Tahoe. And just like that, we have a sweet 16. However, I don't know how. You need to explain to me how that Chevelle got in there. That Chevelle down on the bottom lost. It should be Todd McDonald's cruise bruiser. As you can see, the Chevelle in the second column, fourth car down. That should be Todd McDonald's cruise bruiser. We will fix that. Whoever did that, you're fired. Say la vie, get out of here. That's going to do it for day two. That is a look at your Sweet 16. Who is still in it to become the inaugural DDF champion? As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you for day three of the tournament.